What's happening YouTube? This is your boy Michael Gilmore here in Atlanta with the Michael Gilmore exclusive reaction. Listen, I want to pause and talk about Queen. Queen of the famous Chris and Queen has finally broke her silence and she made it clear that her and Chris is legally separating. And I tell you, there's nothing like a black woman. When she put her mind and her focus to do something, hey, hey, there's no stopping her. There's no telling her no. But what I applaud most about Queen is that she took time out for herself to decide what she wanted to do with her marriage. And we have to realize that Queen and Chris are very young and they have a child together. So whatever the decision that she made is up to her and her family. So let's just take a quick look at a Queen deciding that she wants to finally leave Chris, uh, you know, via legal separation. She is so beautiful. That's a beautiful black woman, this honey. This is not a vlog. This is not a challenge. This is not a prank on somebody. This is me just simply coming to y'all and just talking to y'all as if we were in the same room. I just really want to clear up a lot of things, you know. I dropped a song two days ago called Medicine. If y'all haven't heard it, make sure you guys go listen to it. And that was a good song, by the way. self-explanatory. It pretty much explains um, everything I felt. And the reason why I actually did leave, I left the house and I did leave Chris. Um, we are legally married and we're working on documents and all that stuff to officially, you know, separate. And I okay, there it is. Let me pause that. There it is. Okay, there's no conspiracy. Okay, you heard it from Queen herself. She is finally leaving Chris. Uh, legal, legally separation, uh, separation and divorce are very different, but it's still uh, the judge will weigh it based on the, the merits of the claims or whatever. But um, she's leaving, she's legally separating from Chris. So we have it from her mouth. So y'all can stop with all these conspiracies and they try to get all these views. But what I love about Queen, baby, Queen is 4,000 subscribers away from 1 million baby and she grind and she did that on her own she did not need Chris to do it honey she started her own channel and that girl is about to break 1 million baby on her own on her own merits with her own talents and ambition so I'm very proud of her but let's remember we have to support her and love her and let's just stop bashing Chris if you don't like him unsubscribe and let's support Queen honey People because we were looked up to like as relationship goals. Like we was that deal. Yeah, y'all like, try to play like the Christian couple, like, honey. I mean, some of y'all didn't really want to, but majority of people looked up to me and Chris. We was on the road, like it was me and him. When you seen Chris, you seen me. But you know, sometimes stuff happens in your relationship when everything is just so public and you don't have no privacy and people are constantly throwing themselves at you. And like, yeah, honey, the pussy is some, y'all females are some serious, so, baby. <laughs> you know, ever since Adam Eve tricked Adam in the garden, honey, in uh, September, the whole Helena situation when, yeah, that was a mess, honey. That was a I mess. I got caught cheating, and you know, that was really tough on me, y'all. Like, that was tough, like, it hurt bad. And to be honest with y'all, I still haven't healed from that, like, I haven't. But nevertheless, I decided Prayer, baby. to stay. Prayer and, and counseling. I decided to push Talk to your pastor, honey. See if my family could work because this is what I wanted. Like, this is what I wanted forever. Through all of that, it's like I was getting called dumb, weak. I was getting called every name in the book. I just had so much heat coming at me for staying with him. People started to think it was fake and it was just a scandal. You know, so it was a lot going on. But nevertheless, I decided to push through and I decided to stay, you know? And I just felt like that was my business. 
And see, we all know Chris is a hoe, honey. That ain't nothing new. We all know it. He wants to be married and have his wife at home and, and, and cook and clean and do what she have to do for the uh, the house and for the child. And he wants to go out here sowing his wide oats, baby. That's just like a black man. That's what they do. But I'd be damned if I'm finna allow that in 2018, honey. And I applaud this black woman, honey, for standing up for what she believes, baby. It's like... When I did find out that that whole situation, it's like, it wasn't just that. It was more. So it was, I was taking on a lot more than what people thought. But I'm not going to um, really go into detail about that. But anyway, I say, and afterwards, you know, it just began to become like this repetitive cycle I'm not a person that go out and like expose stuff and say, oh, well, this happened, this happened, this happened. I'm not the type of person to do that. But it started to become like a repetitive cycle. And even on like the, the blog, the drama blog pages, I would see even after that, like, you know, footage of, you know, him at the club and stuff, dancing with girls. And this was like after it. So stuff just was like not really going the way I wanted to go. But I know stuff takes time. I know trust takes time. I it know does, that, honey. But it was a reason why I left. I didn't just leave for no reason. I just seen a video, I guess, that Chris had, he was freestyling or whatever. It got deleted, but, you know, he said that I had cheated on him, which is not true. I don't know if he's talking about, like, because before we started YouTube, we, also, we separated before YouTube because we was having issues even then, and I felt neglected, and I felt... It was just a lot of reasons, you know. He would go out all the time, and I just felt like our relationship was falling apart. I wasn't getting the attention I needed. You know, it's... I didn't trust him. I felt like, you know, it was girls in the picture, and so somebody came along and entertained If you want to do and this YouTube guess, thing, for me, it's just a hobby. Want. So I'm that's but why I'm anyway, not... Lost on subscribers. Now I have about 125 subscribers, but I have over 30,000 views. So I'm very grateful and happy for that. But like I said, this is a hobby. You know, I own the several companies, and I'm very accomplished, and I'm working, and I'm doing this, and I'm doing that. So this is like a hobby for me. You know, my alter ego. Uh, to be rich and it's famous, but of course, you know, social media famous or whatever. But there's a danger in and stuff like putting that. your relationship on social media. And For I example, you got Chris and Cream. Now they legally exactly separated. Happened, you had Jantavian and Brandon. They're split up. Split up. And what? No, the list goes on and on. No, all of these uh, good people. These couples who put their business out there for the world to scrutinize them. So you have to be uh, weary of that and you have to be uh, in the loop that when you put your business out there, you can respect backlash. I mean, that's just the way it is, you know, for famous folks, non famous folks, or whatever. So. Chris is 22, I'm 22. We both young. Like, yeah, it's 22, and I, you know. I started to think that I was older. I started feeling like I was 30 years old because of stress and stuff like that. Losing weight and all that stuff. Like, I just felt like I was... But honey, have them receipts ready, ready, girl. Don't let him like, take wow. the damn house. Yeah, you got a son. Put his ass out. He wants to be single. He want to do this. Put Chris ass out that house, girl. Check your deeds. Check your receipts. Uh, let him have the I8 BMW or whatever, honey. Uh, hopefully, you had a secret bank account, girl, or a joint bank account or whatever, honey. Get your business straight, baby, while you legally separating. Because I don't know the rationale or the um, meaning or the statistics why like people tune in uh, for Chris and Cream. For me, it was Chris, honey, because I, I love I a fine black like, man and Chris is fine and you can't take that away from him. Being, and Queen know, is beautiful. Like, but I was attracted to Chris and Cream, you know, from and Mary, Chris's and perspective. Other, and a lot of y'all came to you know, the channel from Queen perspective. So... Go out, venture out, and like find myself. Um, 
I never really dated around like that. I mean, but anyway, y'all can watch it on uh, the reason, college, the real reason why I left like by that. Queen Nigia. You can write, watch it on her channel. But I just wanted to give a quick reaction and a quick review from my perspective as a YouTuber. So thank y'all for watching. I love you all. Subscribe, like, share, comment to Michael Gilmore. Follow me on social media, Instagram, entrepreneur underscore Gilmore, Facebook, Michael Gilmore, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Dr. Michael Gilmore, Twitter, Dr. Dr. Mike Gilmore, whatever. But it'll be in the, uh, the uh, my uh, dossier will be in the links of uh, this uh, video. But anyway, thank y'all for watching. I love you all. Take care. Let's keep Chris and Queen in our prayers. And I love y'all and God bless. You think you got the